The boy barges into the hospital and says his father is trying to kill his friend and tells the doctor to hurry up and save his friend. The father, who is covered in blood next to him, is unperturbed and hands the doctor the severed limb he cut off, then tells the boy to keep quiet. The doctor was puzzled by the man's approach. The boy told the doctor that his friend was now in front of the hospital, bleeding so much that he could no longer move. The doctor felt that the situation was so urgent that he pulled a level 1 alarm, and the best surgeons in the hospital, as well as the nurses, who rushed to the hospital entrance with their medical equipment, were however shocked by the scene in front of them. No way. The doctors explained to the boy that animals we are not going to save, we only save people. The boy was very disappointed, isn't the profession of a doctor to save lives? Next to the father began to comfort the boy. Let's take him home, and then dad will make you a roasted deer. Okay. When the female doctor heard his father's cruelty, she immediately changed her mind and planned to start the rescue. But the nurse next to her rolled her eyes. The boy's father couldn't stand to watch. So he told the doctors not to spoil the child. Dead is dead no big deal, and let him learn to face reality. These words instantly stirred up the female doctor's sympathy and made her even more determined to save the phone. She put on her gloves and began to carefully examine the phone's heartbeat was already very weak. She asked the nurse to bring oxygen masks to help him breathe oxygen. The boy's father found this all very absurd and childish. While the doctor countered that clinging to hope is not childish behavior and that she wanted to make the boy believe in the power of hope. It wasn't a phone she was saving at this point. It was about living up to the boy's expectations. The female doctor even called the instrument from the emergency center and then aimed at the deer's heart. She's alive? The deer was also the first time to feel the feeling of being electrocuted. 300 chews down and immediately full of blood. However, after seeing this scene, the father is not happy. After all, Emil Ovine is gone. 